this video, I'm going to show you how to install ceiling tiles. So, here we're going to need a hammer. And I'm going to be using the hammer to drive these two small nails into the ceiling. And what I'm trying to do is, I'm going to use this chalk line to outline where the ceiling tiles are going to be placed. The screwdriver is going to be used to remove any fixtures in the ceiling that might get into the way. This cutter here will be used to cut the ceiling tiles uh, so that they will fit into smaller spaces or custom, uh, custom spaces and this will be used to measure how much to cut on the ceiling tile. Uh, Acro Pro can be found in Home Depot. It's not too expensive and this is what I use to uh, ad ad adhere the ceiling tiles onto the ceiling. I'm going to use a spatula to apply the Acro Pro to the ceiling tiles and of course you need a ceiling tile. Now these have been painted, these are actually styrofoam, they're very lightweight and I don't know what they're these, two dollars a piece or whatever it was, I got it from eBay. And so yeah, if you use uh, regular uh, ceiling paint, it pretty much just uh, it looks like a real ceiling tile and uh, nobody's gonna, nobody can tell the difference of whether it's styrofoam or, or wood or, or what. This is the room that I'm going to be installing the ceiling tiles in and there's a couple of fixtures that need to be addressed. There's only one I'm really going to remove and that's the projector here on the top. And I'm going to need a screwdriver for that. Uh, you can see uh, there's already some ceiling tiles down the hallway and ordinarily under ordinary circumstances, you would find the center of the room by measuring each side and then dividing by two to figure out the center of the room. But because I'm going to be extending the ceiling tiles into the hallway, into this room, I'm actually going to use that as my starting point. Okay, so what I did is I put the nail into the ceiling following the line from here and the chalk line connects all the way to the other side. So what I'm gonna do at this point is pull the line I've removed the projector and I didn't completely remove this part. I made just enough space so that I could slide this manipulate my ceiling tile underneath with no problems. And I'm gonna wind up making the ceiling tile go around these screws anyways and and possibly this part so it's going to be okay. As for this fixture here this one is actually spring loaded so I know this can be moved. I've already done another set of ceiling tiles around this. I know this can move around. I can pull this down on the spring and what I'm going to wind up doing is cutting their ceiling tile. I'm going to wind up pulling this up putting the ceiling tile in and then letting it back up. Now, to do this part here, I'm going to measure from the corner to the edge here, 11, and here, 11. So I'm going to measure from 11. Yeah. 
Pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and acro pro this into place. Okay, so here I have a small challenge. I've got to work around here. Well, I could just take these screws off and then just go right through these, but I don't want to. So I'm going to line this up like this. And I'm going to make a cut here. Cut this vertically by about this much into here. And I'm just kind of estimating. I'm going to make a cut about here. I'm going to line up the cut with the screw, and looks like it's pretty good. There's some openings here where I didn't cut it perfectly, so I'm going to take some caulk. So here I have a caulk now, and it looks better. And I'm going to follow the lines. And that's it. That's the final product. That's Thanks for watching.